navigating in 3D space is the first skill you'll need to master. Blender's default general layout is arranged into four regions, but we'll mainly focus on this large area here. This is known as the 3D view. This is where most of your work is going to take place. There are several different navigation methods available to you, but don't feel like you have to memorize or use all of them. Just pick whichever one is the most comfortable for you and go with that. We'll begin with the gizmos in the top right of the 3D view. If we left click and drag on this magnifier icon and move our mouse up and down, we can zoom in and out. If we left click and drag on this hand icon, then we can pan around the view. Selecting this movie camera icon will toggle in and out of the active camera view. And the grid icon will toggle between perspective and orthographic projection. This gizmo right at the top that shows the X, Y, and Z axes allows you to orbit around your view. Just left click and drag. Now, all these icons are pretty handy and fairly obvious, but admittedly, this is not the most convenient way to navigate around your view while you work. A three button mouse is a better way to navigate. That's a mouse that has a left and right click and a middle scroll wheel. Though if you don't have one, I'll explain other navigation methods in just a second. Scrolling up and down on the middle mouse scroll wheel will zoom your view in and out. Clicking and holding the middle mouse button as you move your mouse around orbits your view. If you hold down shift before clicking and holding, your middle mouse button will allow you to pan. And holding down control as you click, hold and drag with your middle mouse button also zooms in and out. Now, if your mouse lacks a middle mouse button or wheel, or you're using a pen with a single button for right clicking, you can modify your preferences to emulate a three button mouse. You can find your preferences in the edit menu. Then go to the input section and tick emulate three button mouse. Now, alt left clicking will replace these middle mouse functions. Alt left click to drag and orbit. Shift alt left click to pan and control alt left click to zoom in and out. Just so there's no confusion with the next example, I'm going to turn this preference off once again. In more recent versions of Blender, touch gestures have been incorporated into navigation. This might be an option if you're on a MacBook or a Windows laptop with a precision touchpad. For that, drag with two fingers in order to orbit around the view, hold down shift and drag with two fingers in order to pan around the view, pinch in and out to zoom, or you can use two fingers again, hold down control and zoom in and out that way as well. Practice any of these methods to get comfortable with moving around your 3D view. Now you can adjust your inputs further in the preferences. For example, I personally find that between pan and orbit, panning comes more naturally to me as a default. So in my preferences under key map, I can switch my middle mouse action from orbit to pan. This means that holding down the middle mouse button will now pan instead of orbit. But what this does is it flips around your toggles. So you'll have to hold down shift to orbit in this case. This sort of modification trickles down to any three button mouse emulation. So for example, if you are using alt left click, that will now pan and shift alt left click will orbit. I'm going to reset this to my default so that we don't get too lost in this topic, but it's good to know that at any time you can adjust or tweak your preferences. Now let's look at functions to frame your work. This is especially handy if while working, you've panned or orbited and zoomed and you don't know which way is up. 
Hint, these gizmos at the top right, they're your compass and will give you an indication of which way is up, but sometimes you just want to reset the view. Under the view menu, you'll see options for all the navigation methods we've just discussed and then some. You can frame your view based on what is selected or frame all, which will incorporate everything that exists in your scene. As with any of these functions, most will have a hotkey assigned to it. The control numpad period will frame selected and your home key will frame all. We'll talk more about selection in the next video, but should you wish to practice this and there's nothing immediately visible, you can select an object in your outliner here. Be sure to hover your mouse back over your 3D view, then either use the hotkey, control, numpad period. Our view should zoom right to the selected object, but let's say you were oriented in a weird angle or upside down. You will still be in this orientation. The same is true if you hit the home key to frame everything in your scene. So let's talk about elevations, best known as top, front, and side views. You can access these from the view menu, view, viewpoint, and then you'll see a list of all the views. Or you can remember some of these handy hotkeys. If you have a full size keyboard, you should have a numpad along with it. Seven is top view, one is front view, and three is side view. If you hold down control, you can flip to the opposite angles for each of these views. So for example, control seven is bottom view, control one is back view, and control three is the opposite side view. Other numpad keys give us some options too. Four and six will incrementally orbit your view around the Y axis or horizontally. Eight and two will orbit around the X axis or vertically. Five will toggle your perspective orthographic projection. And zero will toggle you in and out of active camera view. Now, if your keyboard lacks a number pad, you can open your preferences and under input, you can tick emulate numpad, which will allow you to use your number row instead. With any of these emulation methods, however, there is one caveat. There might be other hotkeys which could rely on these number keys. So another method of accessing these views is with the tilde key, that's this symbol. It's usually the key that is topmost left, just under the escape key. This will bring up a pie menu of all the views available, and you can just mouse click on the view that you require. Now we've covered a lot of different input methods here, and depending on your setup, desktop, full keyboard, laptop, touchpad, or drawing tablet, try and get the hang of navigating in whichever way suits you best and feels more intuitive. Once you're comfortable with navigating the 3D view with ease, let's head on to the next lesson and talk about selection. Music